Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. It's time for an underwater build in Solani. It's been a while since my last underwater build. I'm obsessed with underwater builds, so I thought this time around I'm working on a round underwater build. I've built this house on the 50 by 50 lot in Solani. It's a non-waterfront lot and because it's not a waterfront lot, I'm able to use a pool on the ground, which is exactly what I need to create a wonderful build that's essentially underwater. Okay, we are like not even one minute in and I've already sat underwater a million times, but I mean, this is today's theme, I guess. I've decided against using a basement because I wanted to have the curved shape and you can't really use curved rooms in basements. I mean, technically you can't because when you place a curved room inside a basement, it kind of gets converted into a room with diagonal walls, but then like, Recently, I've placed a craft room in a basement and it was working, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe there is some trick, some hack, but yeah, I just stayed away from basements for this project. So I've just used a floor piece, I've lowered the floor piece, and I was then able to just use curved rooms and I've built the curved room here and I'm going to build the pool right in front of the curved room and you can here see how I've placed a lots of cubes on top of the wall. The cube is from the Desert Lux kit and I just wanted to have this type of border at the top. It looks really fancy and it's also hiding the gap between my curved room and the pool because the pool is like right in front of the curved room. The room itself is curved but the pool is diagonal so there is a gap and by using an object like this I'm able to hide the gap. Before the Desert Lux kit I've always used the Get Famous Pristine Pedestal as most of you know but I've recently really fallen in love with this new cube. It's just amazing and I've then built another curved room and I of course wasn't able to use the pool tool inside the curved room because it's not possible to build a curved pool like this. So I simply used the pond tool and I filled the whole room using the pond tool so it's full of water. And I just wanted to hide the wall in between my curved room and the pool and I've just used some debug rocks from Eco Lifestyle and I think it's looking great because it also adds a little natural element. I'm also going to use a couple of plants later on because I just wanted to have this tropical vibe. We are in Solani so this is always a good idea. The main issue for me when it comes to this build was having the curved room and then the diagonal pool in front of it because I just wanted to use windows as you can see here but I didn't like that you could see all the frames so I was making so many changes to this because I really wanted this to look good so I then just first moved on to work on these stairs. So these are some decorative stairs. I've used a base game debug object for this. It's just for decorative purposes and I'm going to hide some real proper stairs inside these decorative stairs so they are functional. And this is a round shape build so I just wanted to add as many round elements as possible. I've used the tool mod by Tristan Maxi to rotate this object but as always this build is CC free and unmodded in the gallery. You can also grab it on console so this does not affect the gallery upload. I just had to create these amazing stairs because I love them. I've done this so many times but here in this case I just needed my round stairs and they aren't even completely round only at the bottom but it just kind of works and it, it's looking cool because the shape is a bit unique and I just really embraced the build and just came up with stuff like section by section because I had no idea what the end result would look like so I just really expanded it and here I've used add and living glass floors which are a must for any underwater build. If you don't own add and living I can recommend using base game glass roofs if you want to recreate something like this because everything is kind of underground and it's always so nice when light is coming in so the idle living glass floors or just the good old glass roofs from the base game are perfect for a build like this 
And at this point, I had used so many of these cubes that I wanted to use even more because it didn't matter anymore. I just used them everywhere. So I've also used them below the windows and I've then decided to add a round room on top. At first, I was a bit hesitant because I really wanted to put the focus on the underwater area. But then I thought, okay, I will have more space for like furnishing the build will be more spacious and it's also making the build look more interesting and you can see that there is once again a little gap between the curved shape and the pool so as you will see i'm also going to use more of these cubes i didn't like put this in the video because this just included more cube rotating we already saw this in the beginning <laughs> so yeah more cubes for this wonderful area and as you will see later at the very end this is going to be another bedroom and that will be a ladder which is leading up to this room and you can also access this from the outside because of the stairs that i've built on the exterior also speaking of accessibility, this will have a tunnel. So there is an underground tunnel, which I haven't built yet here at this point. Whenever I'm working on a build like this, I sometimes get comments that the Sims won't be able to access this. But as you will see later, there will be an underground tunnel. Another option would be using a bridge, which is also nice, but I always feel like using a tunnel for a build like this is super cool because you really just have water around the build. The, there's no bridge interrupting the whole look and the whole vibe. So there's just a slightly hidden tunnel, which your Sims will be able to use and they can access the interior right away then they can just access the courtyard in the center to hang out maybe have a barbecue and stuff and you can already see that i've placed some more iron living glass floors in the water because below there will be a room which will also include the tunnel so it's always nice as i've said to have these glass floors so more light is coming in that's always super fancy and here I'm placing lots of bushes and trees, mainly from Idle Living, because obviously this is like the perfect pack to decorate this wonderful lot because we are in Solani and Idle Living just has so many amazing palm trees and like tropical plants. Like it's such a perfect pack for this. I've then added this awning from the Desert Lux kit and I then decided that we just need to have a wonderful sofa in the courtyard and also lots of vines from Cottage Living. I just wanted this to be a bit overgrown and green. So it's like a mix of a very modern stylish design, but also lots of natural elements. So it's really just cozy and inviting and I'm now working on the tunnel so i had to sacrifice a little area where the stairs would like lead to the surface and i did my best to hide this area a bit so i've used lots of debug rocks again from equalize style just perfect for this and i just kept the tunnel very simple so your sims can just use it to access the build and i think these rocks are just perfect for this build i love the shape it's really easy to hide the edge using these debug rocks and I'm now furnishing the interior and the interior has a really unique and interesting shape the whole floor plan is a bit different and I just wanted to have a modern design so it matches the exterior I've also wanted to add lots of wooden tones so it's really warm and just really cozy and really inviting and I wanted to have a open floor plan which is what I usually always do for most of my builds and as you will see this will once again be a open floor plan and here in the background adding the door this will be the master bedroom actually and for the furniture i wanted to add a pop of color i've talked about this recently i just wanted to incorporate more colors into my builds and i've used the yellow swatch for the dream home decorator counter which is something that i would never do like i would always use a white black or brown counter but here i just wanted to add a bit of color and you will see that i'm also using yellow for some other furniture pieces and this is a really happy summery build so i thought okay i want this to scream summer so yellow just makes sense and it's just such a really happy color not my favorite color but i think it just works perfectly fine especially in combination with all these wooden tones and i've also used lots of plants on the inside and i just had to use 
use this cube again. So the cool thing is you can just combine them almost like a kitchen calendar. So you can just combine them like this and you can create a shape. And this way you, you can just separate a room. You can just use this as your room divider. And there is a lamp which is in Desert Lux which can be placed on top of the cubes. It looks like a little spotlight but it's placed on top of the cube. You can also place it on any other surface. I didn't do it here. Like I've just decided to use candles and stuff but I just wanted to mention this because I'm just so obsessed with this kit and with all the objects. I've then used some clutter from the clutter kit that recently came out just so the build is a bit more realistic and lift in. So there are like some glasses, I think some keys, I don't know, just random clutter. Also a cup of a cup of coffee or just an empty cup probably right next to the armchair. So it looks as if someone has just left the cup standing there. And for the dining area, I've used white and yellow chairs as you can see here. At first I wanted to incorporate a completely different color like orange or red but then I thought okay I'm going to stick to the yellow but I'm going to use both colors so it looks a bit more interesting just a bit more playful and I then moved on to decorate the exterior a bit. I knew that I would like to have a barbecue grill a bar so this bird just has anything your sims might need and of course they are also able to jump into the gigantic pool which is surrounding <laughs> this build so if they want to take a swim they can do that. I, I did not want to include another pool there. There is enough pool area in the build and this is the master bedroom which I think is so amazing because the water is rounded and it's just so cool to look out the window and then I've just placed the bed right in the center of course and just different objects to decorate this. I also wanted to add a pop of color here. This is like an open walk-in closet so just all kinds of different things. Dream home decorator is like such a game changer when it comes to furnishing. I think it's a must especially if you want to have a modern layout. If you want to have walk-in closets, dream home decorator is just so amazing. And this is the best room. So this best room is below the living room area and there are stairs leading down so it's not too far so your sims just have to walk down. I was kind of running out of space and I've noticed too late that there is not like any additional bedroom at the top and then I've finally furnished the craft room which I've placed on top of the build. So this is just another fancy bedroom. It's not underwater but you still have a very nice view. You can like see the whole pool and you can see the ocean in the distance and I think it's like just a very modern simple bedroom including a TV and everything you would need. And this is almost it. This video is slowly coming to an end. You will here see lots of screenshots. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and this build. You can grab it from the gallery. My ID is Kate Emerald. You can also grab the tray files from my Patreon. And speaking of which, it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons and my Emerald YouTube members. A big, big thank you to Mehmet Ali Baris Khan, Aluna Bleu, Jake Wrighthouse, Lady Sims Katie Y, Andrew Hill, Lisa Martin, Saturated Spark, Shannon McClam, Stemlicious, Stephen, and Stephanie Mead. Thank you so much for your gigantic support. A big, big thank you to all my other Patreons and YouTube members. I appreciate you so much. And of course, a big thank you to anyone who's here watching. Thank you for all of your support. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you will have a perfect week. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye!